everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome to this video, my channel. I am so excited to have you here. I'm going to be sharing a template from Pink Monarch Prints. That's a freebie on the website that they have where you can make uh, library cards easily. And I'm going to show you one that was a freebie uh, a few months ago that already has the print on it. But the one they have now is a blank. So you just add your own paper. And so pretty cool. Um, it's a nice template. So the link is below. Also below is the video that you can enter for the June giveaway on my channel. So uh, the drawing is June 30th for a junk journal mystery box kit. And so if you wanna know more about that, go to the June 1st video. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm looking over here. You can see my table that's set up beside me. And so it, I don't know, it caught my uh, eye and I went off. So anyway, sorry about that. But we're gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you um, the previous one that I had that's printed, it's really, really pretty, and how you put it together. And then I'm gonna show you the other one and show you that I printed it onto craft card um, and we're gonna decorate it. So anyway, let's jump in. All right, uh, Pink Monarch Prints has some subscriptions and they do freebies. So if you're interested in that, go over there and check it out. A uh, link uh, again is below. If you are interested and you go over to their site, you know, tell them Cindy A. Lewis sent you and uh, that would be great. So anyway, this one is a pre-print. It's really pretty. Has these beautiful lavender, is that lavender? or lilacs, I'm not sure. Anyway, really pretty, and it's a library card, which also the blank uh, that we're going to be doing is also uh, a library card, but it's blank so that you can put whatever papers you want on it. This one was pre-done, so what I'm gonna do, this is the backing, this is the pocket with where you fold, um, with the score lines and where you fold, and then this is the library pocket let's see this is the card to go in it this is a journaling card and then this is a tab and uh, a little extra so we're going to go ahead and i'm going to cut this out all right for this one i've cut all the pieces out this one has one extra piece um, that the template doesn't have right now but uh, you don't, I mean, you could add that if you wanted to. So the next step would be to fold on the already prescribed fold lines. You can tell where they are. And then on this template, you can see it's a dotted line. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold these. And then I'm going to vintageize them. Because we all have to vintageize, right? Now it is, this is already vintage looking, but I do want to make sure that I add that. So I use a brown, like a cocoa, or I use this vintage photo, which is what I've been using lately. So I just go around the edges to make it look vintage, and that's my favorite vintageizing. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then we will put the library card together. Okay, once you've done that, then you're gonna fold in these edges and you can use something to, like a bone folder, something to give it a good crease. Um, you know. Now there's two ways you can do library cards. You can put these on the outside and glue that in, or you can glue it to the inside to make the pocket. That's what I'm gonna do on this one. So I'm just gonna take some glue. You can use uh, double stick tape if you want to, or a uh, red liner tape, which is really strong. You can use tacky glue also. So I'm just gonna put some of this Kalal glue. This is the backing, and this is my pocket. 
And the reason I'm doing it this way is because that gives my pocket a little bit more room too, and a little finished edge. Okay. So now here's my pocket, as soon as it dries really well. well. And then here's my card that can fit in there like this. And then here's a journaling card, and I can attach my tab to the journaling card. But I feel like it needs to be attached to this card because it just fits better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add glue to both sides for this tab. And you'll see on the template, there's also a tab. So you can decide where you want that on your card. Let's see, let's kind of center it. And I wanted it glued together. Almost looks like a clipboard. And then this also is uh, the remitter should enter the name below. So you could put it here on this side. You could put it on the back. However you want to do it. I think I'm just going to add this to the back. Um, I did vintageize the back. So I could add that here. I could add it. Oh, no, let's add it here to the card instead of the instead of this card. Now, one thing with Kalal glue, if you get it somewhere you don't want it, you just rub it off, and that works really well. All right, so then I have my library pocket all put together. I have my journaling card, and then I have this beautiful library pocket card. All right. So that's how you put it together. That is with the um, template that I already had. Now this template here is going to require me to cut some papers out to, to fit on here. I've got it upside down. I've cut it onto this template is what's available on the website from Pink Monarch Prints. And then this is a um, craft card that I cut out or ran the copy on. So what I need to do now is not only do I need to cut these out, but I will need to cut out matching paper. And then what will happen is I'll just end up making a beautiful card similar to this. So I'm going to work on this for a few minutes and then I'll show you my, my next one. I've cut my pieces out. Now I just need to cover them. And because I'm doing a beach journal, I decided to use some of the beach pages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace around and then cut out the pieces. Now I want them to be, you know, I want them to look good. So I'm gonna glue them on top of the craft card to give it that stability. And then um, we'll put the card together. Again, for the pieces that I like, I like to just put this uh, brown ink uh, around the edges just to give it that aged look and this is the paper that I've chosen to use for this particular piece or this pocket. So first I'm going to glue the pieces together and um, I'm just using this Kalal glue because I like how it bonds to the paper and doesn't soak in. So again it's Kalal glue and I can show you the bottle that that applicator's from. And this is it. All right. So we got this one. Make sure that's covered. We'll go ahead and glue this journaling card. It can be used for writing. And let's glue this on here. And you can see how pretty this is going to be with these colors, too. Now, this one is the front of the library pocket. So, I love making pockets. And I've done, I have a whole playlist on journaling pockets, if you didn't know. So, I love making pockets. I love decorating tags and guest cards and master boards and all those kinds of things. So... I'm just going around the edges a little bit more on this one with the 
vintage photo paper. All right, this is the back of the pocket. So you could just put it straight into your journal the way that it is with the front, or you can make the back like this. Well, these papers are from a package that I got from Timu. So that's pretty cool to be able to use these. So I'm just gonna put this on here to adhere the to the tab. And, and this folds in half like this when it goes onto the, um, the card. So this adheres here to this one. So you could choose to do it however you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now one thing that I do with this type of tab, I do want the whole tab to be glued shut. So not only do I glue it to the card, but I glue it to itself. And I drop it. So I'm gonna put the tab about here and fold that over. I just want to make sure it's even, and if you find any edges that you want to re-ink, you can do that too. Okay, that'll be really cute. Now let's adhere this pocket. Now I'm going to, the front of the library pocket, or library card pocket, I'm going to put on the front of the back uh, with the tabs for folding. Um, adhering on the inside like this so that it gives the pocket a little bit more room. So I'm just going to push that down, hold that in place a little bit because it does take a minute for glue to adhere. Now you can also staple this if you like, which is a, a cool way to to add an element to your pockets. Okay. I will tell you, this craft card is pretty thick, so there we go. And there is the library pocket with the ocean blue or the sea paper. And you could decorate it more if you wanted to. Um, so there we are. And then this is the template that I already had that I used. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's kind of quick and easy. Go over to Pink Monarch Prints website linked below and get your freebie. It's on their page. Um, if you go to their YouTube channel or their Instagram, um, just tell them Cindy A. Lewis sent you over. So thanks so much for watching and have a great, great day. Bye-bye.